Siguli Swagwik. Hello everyone. Welcome to Ungwakwa, our foods. Today we're going to show you how we harvest and roast our green corn. Green doesn't refer to the color of the corn. Rather, it means the corn is still young and not fully mature. We hope to have more on our foods in future videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on notifications for new uploads. It's late August and our Tuscarora white corn is looking fabulous. In our community, the most common way we eat our corn is to let it mature and dry on the stalk. Harvesting corn at this green corn stage is new to many of us and we are taking full advantage of this small window of time to harvest our green corn. If the cob is still skinny or the silk is still green, those cobs are not yet mature enough to harvest. When we look for corn that is ready, we're looking for cobs that are plump with browning silks at the top. One sure way to tell if the cob is ready for green corn is to push your fingernail in a kernel. If you get a milky burst, then the cob is perfect. As the cob reaches full maturity, the kernels harden and the sugars turn to starch. Once we harvest our green corn, we pile it up and get ready to husk them. We pull the husks off, leaving part of the stem on to help us later. Next, we lay the cobs on a grill and the grill master takes over, turning each cob over the heat for that perfect golden grill. As each cob is done, we set them on a tray to cool off a bit. When the cobs are cooled off, we take a knife and slice off the kernels. Since Haudenosaunee corn is typically an eight row corn, the knife slides under two rows at a time with a satisfying slice. We either eat the corn right away, cook her in soup later that day, or preserve her for those long winter months. To preserve our green corn, we either put them in bags and freeze them, or we dehydrate them and store them in jars. We're still learning about our foods. People have different ways of preparing our foods. We're sharing the way we learned how. One of the most amazing parts about this journey to get to know our foods better is that it is connecting us to so many people throughout the Haudenosaunee Confederacy and throughout Indian Country. If you have many methods you want to share, please feel free to drop them in the comments or send us an email. Yama, Danito.